Hello students, welcome to our Cast Live. Today we are going to discuss the quick solutions of AIATS that is All India Cast Test Series for J Main 2018. I am going to discuss Test 10 Code A and B. This test was held on 25th of March 2018, and now we are going to discuss the solutions. Okay, so let us get started with question number 61. It says that if C0, C1, C2, C3 up to Cn are the binomial coefficients of the expansion of 1 plus x raised to power n, then the value of C1 minus C2 by 2 plus C3 by 3 minus so on till minus 1 raised to power n minus 1 Cn divided by n. So, we have Cr upon R into minus 1 raised to power R minus 1 ka summation. So, I will consider 1 minus x raised to power n as my original series. This will be n c naught minus n c one x plus n c two x square minus n c three x cube so on till the last term will be n c n x raised to power n with a minus one raised to power n sign. Okay. So now I am going to convert this series into the given format. How I will do that? I will write this as one or my yearly term ko is side leonga bagi sari terms ko left hand side pe le jaunga. So, mere paas bachega 1 minus 1 minus x raised to power n is equal to c1 x minus c2 x square plus c3 x cube and so on. Okay. So, now mere paas c2 by 2 chahiye with a negative sign. So, mujhe yaan pe x se divide karna padega. So, 1 minus 1 minus x raised to power n divided by x is equal to c1 minus c2 x plus c3 x square minus c4 x cube and so on. Okay. So, if I integrate right hand side ko integrate kar deta hun, within the limit 0 to 1, then I will obtain the required series. Obtain ho jayegi, yani ki mera answer equation ka integration of left hand side from the limit 0 to 1, 1 minus 1 minus x ki power n divided by x. Okay. So, this can be written as 1 minus 1 minus x raised to power n divided by 1 minus 1 minus x integration from 0 to 1 and dx also. If I use the property 0 to a integration of fx dx is equal to 0 to a integration of f of a minus x dx, then I will get integration from 0 to 1, 1 minus x raised to power n upon 1 minus x dx. So, this is equal to integration from 0 to 1, 1 plus x plus x square, so on till x raised to power n minus 1 dx. This will be the required integration. Okay. So, this comes out to be equal to 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4 and so on till the last term will be 1 by n for us. Okay. Which means that option number 2 is the right choice. Okay. Let us move forward to question number 62. Question number 62 says that in a triangle ABC, tan of angle CAB or that is tan of angle A is 22 by 7 and the altitude from A divide BC into segments of length 3 and 17 centimeter, then the length of altitude from A to BC is equal to. So, let us have the triangle with us. Okay. So, this point is A, this is B, this is C. Tan of angle A is 22 by 7. This particular altitude divides the opposite side into 3 cm and 17 cm. So, let the length of altitude be h. Okay. So, let this angle be alpha, let this angle be beta. So, tan of alpha plus beta kitna diya hua mujhe? 22 by 7. Very clear. What is tan of alpha? Tan of alpha from triangle A, B, D, it is 3 by h. And what is tan of beta? From triangle A, C, D. It will be 17 divided by h perpendicular upon base. 17 by h. Now tan of alpha plus beta ka formula laga denge. 3 by h plus 17 by h that is tan alpha plus tan beta upon 1 minus tan alpha into tan beta h. So this will be equal to 22 by 7. It will be a very simple quadratic equation that will be 11 h square minus 70 h minus 561 is equal to 0. Since h is positive, we will get only one answer of h 
and that is h is equal to 11 centimeter second part will be negative so that will be rejected so we have again option number 2 as the right choice let us move forward to 63 Question number 63 says a function f from r to r satisfies the equation fx into fy minus f of xy is equal to x plus y and it is given that f of 1 is positive. Then which of the following relation holds correctly? Charo options we have a key cheese pushi that is fx into f inverse x. So let us try and calculate fx as well as f inverse x. Okay. So f of x into f of y minus f of xy is equal to x plus y. अगर मैं इसमें डाल देता हूँ x is equal to y is equal to one, तो मेरे पास आ जाएगा f of one का whole square minus f of one minus two is equal to zero. So this will give me f of one minus two into f of one plus one is equal to zero. f of one क्योंकि positive दिया हुआ है, तो ये factor कभी भी zero नहीं हो सकता. I will get the value of f1 to be equal to 2. अगर f1 की value 2 है, तो दोबारा से मैं y को 1 put करता हूँ, तो मेरे पास आ जाएगा fx into f1, यानी कि 2 into fx minus fx is equal to x plus 1. तो मेरे पास fx की value आ गई directly, that is equal to x plus 1. So what will be f inverse x? f inverse x कितना होगा? x minus 1. So what is fx into f inverse x? It will be x square minus 1. So if fx is equal to x plus 1, f inverse x is equal to x minus 1, we obviously have option number 3 as the right choice. Okay, let us move forward to 64. Question number 64 says that if the radii of the director circles of x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 and x square by a square minus y square by b square equal to 1, R, 2R and R respectively, then if E, E and E, H are the eccentricities of the ellipse and the hyperbola respectively, then I need the value of 4 of E, H square minus E, E square is equal to what? So what we have to do? Radii of director circle, ellipse ka director circle kya hota hai? X square plus Y square equal to A square plus B square. Hyperbola ka director circle hota hai? X square plus Y square equal to A square minus B square. अगर इसका radius 2r है, तो इसका radius r है, यानि कि इनके radius के square की ratio 4 है, यानि कि a square plus b square upon a square minus b square is equal to 4, that will give me 3a square is equal to 5b square. Now let us calculate the value of eccentricities. Eccentricity of the hyperbola, that will be 1 plus b square by a square and a square on this side. Eccentricity square is 1 plus b square by a square and that will be 8 by 5. Okay? Because b square is 3 by 5 a square. So this is e h square. What is e e square? It will be 1 minus b square by a square and that will be 2 by 5. So what will be the answer of the question? 4 into this minus this. So 32 divided by 5 minus 2 divided by 5. So 30 divided by 5, the answer comes out to be equal to 6, which means that option number 3 is the correct choice. Again, okay, let us move forward to next question. Question number 65, it says that the mean and variance of the following data is 8 and 9.2 respectively. The data given is 4, 5, 10, L and M, then the value of L square plus M square is equal to what? So mean kya hota hai? Sum of all observations divided by number of observations. So 4 plus 5 plus 10 plus L plus M whole divided by 5 this is given to be equal to 8 4 plus 5 is 9 9 plus 10 is 19 40 L plus M comes out to be equal to 21 further using the condition of variance I have sigma XI minus X bar whole square divided by N is equal to 9.2 so I will have again 8 minus 4 square that is 4 square that is 16 8 minus 5 square that is 3 square 9 8 minus 10 square that is 4 then L minus 8 square then M minus 8 square divided by 5 is equal to 9.2 on the left hand side I will have 16 plus 9 25 plus 4 29 plus 64 plus 64 so 128 plus L square plus M square minus 16 times L plus M. 
is equal to 9.2 into 5 and that is equal to 46. So again, we have the value of L plus M as 21. So I will get L square plus M square is equal to 225. A simple calculation you can easily do. So we have option number 4 as the correct choice. Okay, let us move forward to next question. Mm -hmm.